All right, we got a quick video today about a technique that I recently learned uh, from talking to a lot of other authors that are in this space and of a great way to improve your outlining in, in a way that it is able to set up the ending before you get to it. And before I get into this, I wanna talk a little bit about how AI language models work. What they are is, if you're familiar with auto predict features on say your phone, where it kind of predicts what word you're gonna say next, that is essentially what AI is doing with these large language models. It is predicting each word that should come next. And obviously it's more complicated than that, but that is essentially what it is doing. It's using probability to determine what word it should say next and um, writing it in, with that in mind. Now, Imagine if you were trying to drive from New York to Orlando, Florida, and um, you don't tell, and you're using an AI to get you there. All right, yeah, the AI tells you whether to turn left or right at every intersection, uh, or uh, you know, as, as you're going on this trip. And if it doesn't know where you're going. It's just gonna randomly pick left or right, essentially. But when it does know which way it's going, it's able to much more accurately tell you which way you should go at every intersection. And that is essentially what we're gonna explore here with these outlines. We're gonna actually create the outline backwards, okay? Um, and this is actually a really good way because we have found, me and the other authors in the space that have experimented with this, that by outlining backwards it actually greatly improves the quality of the outline itself and uh, especially if you you know you don't necessarily have to go through each step backwards but just starting with the ending at least um, I, I find this funny because one of my favorite books is, is the seven habits of highly successful people and one of the habits is begin with the end in mind and so that's essentially what we're doing here with AI is we're beginning with the end in mind. Uh, so I'm going to be using this prompt. I want to write a book with the following concept, Vikings versus Cthulhu. I'd like the main character to be Ragnar to take place in the correct historical time frame, and to involve a cult that is trying to awaken Cthulhu and be there to be, er, for the and for there to be various Lovecraftian monsters that appear throughout the story. Can you outline five different possible en endings to such a story? Um, I guess I wasn't planning on announcing this, but this is the novella that I'm going to be writing with ChatGPT in the coming days. Um, and so I'm just getting some ideas for where we might go with this outline. And so we're going to hit enter and see what these five endings are. And if we, it's giving me five options here. These aren't too bad, but if we want to, we can ask it for more. So I can say, give me five more and make sure they include a shocking twist of some kind. So you could do that. Um, just go back and forth with the AI on this. All right, so we have a bunch here now, and I like this one enough that I'll use it for the purposes of this video, but I will probably, this probably won't be the final one that I settle on in the future, but just to continue the video, we're gonna be using this one. Ragnar's trusted ally, ally and love interest, a Viking shield maiden, is revealed to be the cult's high priestess, manipulating events from the start. The climax sees a heartbreaking confrontation between the two, leading to her redemption or downfall. All right, so we're gonna be using um, that one. So it's number three here. And so I'm going to paste this prompt into the chat bot here. It says, I like number three, using that ending outline, a 12 chapter novella based on the 12 steps of the hero's journey as outlined by Christopher Vogler. So let's see what it gives us now that we have given it the ending to work towards. All right. So now we have a basic hero's journey outline of this story and um, so we know that in this story, Ragnar is going to be betrayed by his love interest at the end, and it's given her a name now. Her name's Astrid. Pretty generic, I believe, but what are you going to do? Um, and uh, towards the end, they have a final show showdown. 
now since the AI knows that this is where it's going, you actually come up here and start to see information about Astrid and their relationship kind of sprinkled in throughout the different chapters. So uh, starting here in chapter four, we got Ragnar's love interest, a shield maiden named Astrid, convinces him to take the threat seriously. She introduces him to an old seer who provides him with knowledge about Cthulhu and the cult. Um, and then we've got more information about that and she comes up a couple of times however astrid who's been fighting along ra alongside ragnar reveals she is a cult high priestess she had manipulated events from the start and initiates the true ritual to awaken cthulhu so basically what this does by beginning with the end in mind is tell us tell the ai where it's going and so it's able to vastly improve the structure of the outline coming to it this is a simple example where we just gave it an ending uh, the more details you can get it about what actually happens and certain things that need to be talked about or foreshadowed in previous chapters uh, can definitely help as well uh, and while foreshadowing can be difficult with ai because if you're trying to keep a secret from the audience you'll want to make sure you're keeping that secret from the AI as well because it will try to leave not so subtle hints as you're going along uh, because it's that's just the way it works. But sometimes you need to introduce certain characters and things like that. So in the outlining phase, when you are figuring all of these things out and where you should foreshadow what, uh, it can be really useful to be taking this approach and starting with the end and then working your way back. I hope that was useful and I'll see you in the next video.